I'm Matt Bichard with Neri, and I'm in London for the European Public Real Estate Association's annual conference. Joining me is Joe Harvey, President and Chief Investment Officer of Cohen and Steers. So Joe, looking at the European market, how do you see the listed property market performing uh, within the overall European uh, real estate? Well, uh, it's about 16% of the global uh, universe of real estate securities. Uh, but uh, our view is that it's going to be more challenging for uh, Europe compared with other parts of the world. And, of course, we have some significant issues with the sovereign debt situation and uh, that which has led to austerity measures in uh, many countries, we believe, will uh, uh, impair economic growth. And, of course, economic growth is the most important driver of uh, real estate fundamentals. Uh, over the past month, uh, the stock prices have corrected to uh, reflect uh, that slower growth and uh, you know, potential issues with the financial system. And uh, while in the U.S. we believe that the financial system has been pretty much uh, cleared out, uh, we still have a lot of work to do uh, in uh, the European uh, banking system. So I have some concerns about you know, the effect that may have on uh, uh, financing for real estate for cap rates. And uh, though uh, we think that it's going to take some time for the banks to recapitalize. It likely will end up creating some more opportunities for listed property companies. And you mentioned the, the sovereign debt crisis. Are there particular regions or areas where, where you think may be facing the biggest challenges in the near term? Well, everyone knows pretty well the, 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 the toughest places, of course, uh, uh, the, some of the periphery uh, countries, Greece, uh, to name one. but. Uh, everyone has a lot of concern about some of the more major uh, countries which face their own respective uh, issues, uh, Spain and, and Italy. But uh, the challenge is that uh, they're, everyone in, in continental Europe is tied together and that of course is the uh, $64,000 question as to how we're going to solve the issue. Uh, you know, we, we believe there has to be uh, you know, a multi-prong approach of uh, austerity uh, combined with uh, recapitalization of, of the banks. Um, I've been very pleased to see that the new head of the IMF uh, has finally come out and told the truth about uh, that situation. You know, when back in the uh, uh, financial crisis in 2009, when of course the uh, U.S. financial system recapitalized uh, in a significant way, as did uh, REITs, uh, Europe uh, averted that situation and, and really didn't capitalize to the full extent. So if you look at the uh, uh, tangible equity ratios of European banks uh, and the amount of uh, wholesale funding they're reliant upon, uh, we think it's a precarious position with the banks and they need to, as this sovereign debt situation is uh, worked through, they need to uh, uh, recapitalize. Uh, of course, uh, there's also uh, needs to be an end game with the uh, sovereign situation and uh, my view is that ultimately, and there'll be a torturous path to get there, but uh, we believe that the ECB will ultimately need to uh, uh, print money. Uh, when you look at the magnitude of uh, the, the debt situation and uh, how you might be able to address that with austerity measures, th these are very, very uh, uh, big numbers. and. Uh, we think ultimately, the, like in the U.S., unfortunately, the answer has been to print money and to uh, inflate uh, your way out of the debt situation. And outside of kind of these very large and, and very, very serious overhanging issues, are there any other developments you're, you're watching at Cohen and Sears regarding the European market? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, one of the uh, opportunities that uh, and we're spending a lot of time on is you know, how this uh, uh, stress in the financial system is going to create opportunity for uh, real estate companies to acquire. And uh, I was just in Greece uh, last week uh, to uh, try to find opportunities and it reminded me very much of the U.S. in the early 1990s and the uh, situation with the RTC. And of course uh, Greece is a uh, much smaller commercial real estate market, less developed in terms of uh, the types of players and the sophistication. But my takeaway is that uh, there are a lot of sellers of real estate and uh, the capital sources that had traditionally been involved in Greece are no longer active. So you're going to have uh, banks who 
have real estate divisions uh, that would be sellers of properties. You're going to have banks that have non-performing loans and real estate owned that will be seller of properties. You have uh, developers who are uh, insolvent. And of course, uh, through the uh, hoped for privatization program, you have the, uh, the, the, the government that's a seller of property. Uh, while Greece is a small market, I think it perhaps is uh, representative of what, what you might see in other places, such as uh, Spain, of course, a much larger economy, much uh, larger real estate market. And it would be my expectation that uh, the, 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 the major uh, listed property companies in Europe will be in a better position to help sort out uh, that, that, uh, that, that mess and uh, use uh, their access to capital to uh, uh, recapitalize the ownership of real estate. And uh, just this past year, uh, REITs in the U.S. celebrated their, their 50th anniversary. Um, so now looking at Europe and, and kind of playing off what you just said with your last answer, does the potential exist for the securitized market in, in Europe to really kind of have that, that impact on, on both the, the real estate market and, and the financial markets in, in general? The allocations to real estate securities are, are happening as, as we've, we've all hoped. and. That, of course, will help facilitate the uh, growth of public market in Europe. But we, we, need, uh, we, we need the system to work better in, in Europe. And so that's why it's really important to, in all countries for all participants to try to help improve the REIT uh, legislation in each country. We need to uh, work on market structure and uh, uh, how these companies uh, access capital. That combined with the fact that uh, because of the financial uh, uh, system stresses, we, the conditions are better uh, for real estate to be pushed into the uh, public market. And uh, uh, for my earlier comments on the banking system, uh, we think that there's a lot of work that needs to be done to deleverage Europe. Uh, in addition to the financial system stresses, when you just think about the, the leverage that's in the system combined with the aging of the populations here and the slow rate of growth, that's a, a challenging uh, set of circumstances to have the type of leverage that uh, they have in Europe. So uh, we think that this needs to be sorted out and because real estate is such a big part of that uh, equation that ultimately the, the, the public market will be a provider of equity capital to help reduce the leverage in the, in the, in the system. So depending on how this all gets gets sorted out, it sounds like we may be looking at a situation you, you mentioned hearkening back to the, to the RTC days in, in the United States where, you know, 20 years ago we started the modern read era and things really escalated from there. Could we be the dawn of the, the modern read era in Europe? The conditions are there. I, I'm, uh, because of the way the, the, the market is structured here, because of the, uh, the, the, the EU situation and and the fact that you have to get many, many uh, politicians, governments to agree on the way forward. I think that uh, it, it, uh, because you don't have as, uh, as much open architecture and, and uh, you, you, the, the, the pathways won't be the same as they, they were in the U.S. in the early 90s. So uh, as many have said, you know, hope is not a great uh, strategy. Our hope is that uh, the, the, the situation will lead to more securitization. And in some places, the conditions are, are very ripe. Uh, I think the path will be uh, less clear than what it was in the U.S. Great. Joe, thank you very much for joining us. Matt, it's been a pleasure. Thank Great. you. For more on the global real estate investment landscape, be sure to visit REIT.com as well as EPRA.com.